hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> So like when I was playing, if I was going to a football game or cricket game, like playing school, you could almost hear the other team. Oh, that's Barry Hanson, you know. And so much so that when I boxed, I had a couple of fights at Billericay Amateur Boxing Club. My dad actually changed my name without me knowing, so that I wouldn't get pasted. What did he change it to? He Hills. <laughs> so when I had my first fight at a gym show in Dagenham, they introduced me in the blue corner from Billericay. Eddie Hills. I was like, <laughs> but I didn't think anything of it. It's only when I had my next fight, which was at Billericay, they introduced me again as Hills. And I went over to my old man after, I said, they keep calling me fucking Hills. He went, son, if they knew you were my son, you'd get an absolute pasty. Yeah. You no, know, because that, to those kids, that's that's why I wouldn't have, you know, one, I didn't have the ability, <clears throat> but two, I could have never made it as a fighter. <laughs> Wonder how Callas Howland is doing of late. Hope he's well, Porky. I bet he gets some really good beak with the poke his old man's got. <laughs> You're not be getting any beak at the moment. There's a drought on. No wonder Tony the disappearing man bell you. He's thanking God. He's only he's only fighter to leave Frank Warren with his blessing and go on to get four pay-per-view fights on Sky Sports, Porky. But the reality is this, every belt was vacant. Plus, he swerved the WBSS porky and his only title wins at World Title 11 and Macabre won Flores. Yeah, you could say that, but Macabre went on to win WBC and Flores were put in there to get knocked out so we could, so that David Ake and Bellew could have words at side at ring and sell the fight and then the injury to Hayes' leg sold the rematch, didn't it? So Tony Bellew, he's out of boxing, he got, he got out ahead of the game like Carl Froch but as regards when he puts his pillar to his head at night, Tony Bellew and he's resting and he can't sleep. In my opinion, he knows that he never beat a champion that means he never took a belt off a champion. And that uh, he knows his best wins are Lund Alundo Macabu. He knows that, that that is his best win. And to have one one decent win on your record, who won a world champion at the time, I think it's pretty poor really, because you wouldn't say Macabo's elite. And Tony, like I said before, and I'll say it again, he'll be back. He will be back. When he comes back, he'll be saying he wants to beat George Foreman's record or... Go, go down as one of them fighters who win a world title in his 40s so get ready the script will be getting knocked up any day yeah he beat cleverly but he dragged him up 25 pounds to cruise away in a stinker like i said the other wins were mccarver which was life and death and the two a wins which were pantomime stuff on it really but old tony bellew he's blagged it good and proper but i respect his hustle and i wish tony bellew all the best but don't tell me your Hall of Fame material, Tony. Please. You're not Hall of Fame material. But who knows? He's been in a Rocky film, hasn't he? And he sucks up to all the right people. So don't count Tony Bellew out of getting in the Hall of Fame as a first ballot. Because trust me, that man is he's the biggest hustler since Floyd Mayweather Senior. So, but speaking of... Uh, Speaking of hustlers or rimmers who've blagged it, I saw Dave Cobalt the other day actually going through a Wickersley. He ducked down when he seen me because he knows I know what he is, don't you, Dave? Evening, Dave. People ask me what I mean when I go on about monitor lizards. Right. Well, a monitor lizard to me is that lot of match a minute with the Walt Pundit work. I mean, a monitor lizard, if you go on Google and go on YouTube, you'll see that what a monitor lizard does, it pops its tongue out every two seconds, doesn't it, right? Every two seconds its tongue pops out. And when he does that, a monitor lizard, it reminds me of Johnny Nelson, Darren Barker, Bellew, Spencer Oliver. They are human monitor lizards. Everything match room they rim. Bellew needs to go get counselling about his rimming. Especially his women of Joshua. Darren Barker's already had counts and he's on medication. Juggies is in denial. And Johnny Nelson, well. 
Johnny Nelson just he he knows what he is and he admits it. So I'm I'm cool with Johnny Brimming. I'm cool. I'm cool with that. So, but nobody takes Johnny serious. But whoever Johnny predicts is going to win a pay per view fight. Bet the opposite, and you'll end up a rich man. But they can't help it, can they? The thing is, when someone is paying you money to do something, you lose your mind and 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 say and say it. You become a prostitute, and, and you lose your manner, don't you? Somebody's paying you money to promote their stuff. You're going to say anything, aren't you? It's like Steve Davis promoting coffee. Don't even drink coffee, but but it's like Barry Earns say you're gonna do it, aren't you? Because it's pound notes. These people have got no scruples. Boxing is the wild, wild west. It's just life. It's just boxing, and you ain't gotta take it personal. I used to do that, but now I just laugh at it all because it's not real. It's pantomime. How I look at it is like this: any of these lot have a problem with my channel? The answer is simple very simple email me porky corner at mail.com not porky's corner porky corner at mail.com email me and you could come out channel all right so that's about it today that's the the uh questions done for today the story so far part six so peace out keep on trucking Keep supporting boxing. It's a fantastic sport. Shout out to Jab Apparel, Johnny Owen. All right, Johnny, how are you doing? And shout out to all the rest of my sponsors. Peace out. <laughs> you like that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Uh, because we're on this journey together, aren't we? So anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. Porkycorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking. <laughs>